Why is it that a negative number times another negative number makes a positive number? I was working on a property with my class today called the distributive property. And the distributive property gives an illustration of why it is that a negative times a negative makes a positive. It's not my favorite illustration. If you click on a link that'll be somewhere up around here, you can see my preferred illustration of why kind of more fundamentally negatives times negatives make positives. But if you're more comfortable with concrete operations, this does give us a good reason to believe a negative negative times a negative is a positive. Let's start with something simple that we probably all agree on. What is three times zero? Zero, right? Fair enough. What if I decide to take the inside of those parentheses and it's still gonna be equal to zero, but I am gonna rewrite it slightly. I'm actually gonna write it as positive five plus negative five. Do you agree positive five plus negative five is zero? Hopefully you do. And so you can see that I haven't really changed anything. This should still be equal to zero. From here, I'm gonna use what we call the distributive property or what I tell my students is the claw the claw. The distributive property here says that we can actually perform the multiplication before we perform the addition. So this has to be the same thing as three times five plus three times negative five. But again, the distributive property doesn't change any values, so this should still be equal to zero. Three times five, of course, we can go ahead and say is 15. And let's say we don't know what three times negative five is, but we do know that this sum is supposed to be zero. What plus 15 would make a zero the additive inverse of 15. In other words, negative 15. And so it should be the case that these two quantities, 3 times negative 5 and negative 15 itself, are actually the same value. Now that we know that, let's consider a slightly different problem. Let's say that we want to multiply negative 5 times 0. What should the answer to that be? 0. But again, let's go ahead and take the inside of those parentheses, that 0, and let's rewrite that. This is now going to be negative 5 times 3 plus negative 3. And as long as you agree 3 plus negative 3 is 0, then you can see we haven't really changed anything, and so everything still equals 0. Once again, we're going to use the distributive property and multiply that negative 5 onto the inside of those parentheses. So that's going to give us negative 5 5 times 3 plus negative 5 times negative 3. And again, since we haven't really changed anything, that whole thing should be equal to 0. Now, we just figured out a moment ago, here's our special box, that negative 5 times 3 is the same thing as negative 15. Multiplication is commutative, so we're allowed to flip that around. And so this must be negative 15 plus something, let's say we don't know what it is, and this is supposed to be equal to 0. Well, again, what plus a negative 15 is going to make a negative 3 a positive 15? And so we can say now that negative 5 times negative 3 should be equal to positive 15 by the distributive property. Of course, in this case, I've done this with some actual numbers, 3, 5, negative 3, negative 5, but you could easily imagine doing the same thing for just positive quantities, negative quantities. You could do the same thing symbolically. Again, this is not necessarily my favorite way to demonstrate that a negative times a negative should be a positive. For that, you can check out a couple videos. Actually, I'll put them in the playlist because I've done it a few different times because it's just so cool. And otherwise, I'll see y'all next time. Please subscribe. Please like and subscribe.